Hey everybody, it's Emily. It's uh, Week 57 here, the Sweethearts channel. And uh, this week's topic, we're talking about how to start tea in our respective areas. Uh, so I'm in Pennsylvania. Chance and I are in Pennsylvania. He grew up inside the city of Philadelphia. I grew up in the burbs of Philly. So I'm going to talk about how he started tea in this area, how friends of ours have started. And I got a little bit of information for those of you who are uh, farther out west, like towards Pittsburgh and Erie and all those places. I got a little bit of information on that from friends of mine. Uh, so I'll pass that along to you and I'll see if I can't find any more and I'll just update uh, the information section below the video. See if I can find some more information for everybody. All right, so we're gonna start with Philly. Yay, Philly. All right, first things first. If you don't know about the Mazzoni Center and you're trans in Philly, figure it out. Mazzoni Center. The website, as you can tell, is www. I don't say it like that. Sorry, www.mazzonicenter.org. That's the internet. Yay! The Mazzoni Center is um. I don't actually know if they're non-profit, but they've been along for a real long time. They help the whole LGBTQ alphabet soup uh, in Philly, and it's all on a sliding scale, all the insurance, so they explained it to Chance and I when we went. Um, basically, if you are not working, if you have no income, it's anywhere from dirt cheap to free. Uh, they do a lot of work with the homeless population. They do a lot of work with uh, people that have HIV AIDS, um, that kind of stuff. So they're a great organization. Um, information on them. So this is the main number. Sorry, I got my notes here. Okay. The main office is on uh, 12th Street. It's kind of close to uh, City Hall, if you're familiar with Center City, that area. Um, it's at 21 South 12th Street, Philadelphia. Um, sorry, I have all my notes on here. Um, their number is 215-563-0652. So that's their main number right there. Um, I'll put everything down below, but I thought these might help us aid me. Um, so that's the main office. You can get to their, um, their lawyers work out of that office. Um, lots of different software works out of that office if you need help. But we'll also talk about that office next week. Our video next week is about, um, name changes, I think. I had lost my paper. I'm sorry. Um, and then... Medical is what I'm going to be talking about mostly today. Um, Medical is a couple blocks away. It's on Locust Street, 809 Locust Street. Uh, the number is 215-563-0658. And um, so those are their numbers. I'm going to keep it right here for those of you who need it. Um, they're all amazing people. Uh, Chance and I went there for his first tea uh, appointment and we went in, we talked to the nurse practitioner, took his blood pressure, um, the, the blood pressure, talked to him for a little bit, got a little bit of medical history, and then the doctor came in, talked to him about tea, you know, I think he asked him how, how long he'd been out. The doctor was trans himself, which was pretty fucking rad, honestly, to walk into an institution like that and just for a chance to have somebody there that gets it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty awesome. Uh, and word of his prescription. And uh, they're actually attached to a Walgreens. Like, there's literally a door attached in the Walgreens in the Mazzoni Center. So they do this thing where um, you get a certain amount off on your prescriptions at these three different Walgreens locations. One is the one attached, and then there's a couple others around in that area, um, in the same area, that you get a huge percentage off, and it actually helps them keep their partnership up if you do that program. 
it helps them keep their percentage up. That's for male and female hormones. So everybody is included in that. Like I said, they help, um, they help trans individuals, um, gay, lesbian. I actually know some straight people who have used their services just because they're low income, they're allies, and they're the kind of people that are not going to turn somebody away if you don't hand in your gay card, that kind of thing. Alright, so those are the numbers from Mazzoni. Um, what we did, every Wednesday, um, they have a drop-in health clinic. And it's every single Wednesday from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. That's the information there. Um, we went, we got there at like 4.30, 4.45, and he was one of the first people on the list. And we still had to wait a little bit because there were a good amount of people there. It's ages 14 to 24, uh, trans kids, guys and girls, are welcome to drop in. They actually had a pizza going there. It was pretty cool. Um, and you get your first appointment totally free. It says no appointments, no insurance. They just, they take you, they talk to you. It was amazing experience. Um, so that's the information on that. Uh, I highly suggest doing that if you're in the area, if you're not sure what to do. Even if you just need someone to talk to, if you're not understanding what you're going through, how you're feeling about your gender, you know, you're not sure, oh, am I trans, am I genderqueer, am I what have you. you. It's a good place to get information from. They're all really down-to-earth, amazing people there. Um, oh, for more information, I have to call this number. It's the main number that I gave you, 215-563-0652. Uh, extension 323. And you're going to ask for Kate. So it's the same number I gave earlier. Uh, for the main number, I think, an extension 323, and uh, she'll be able to help you. More information on the drop-in clinic, that is. Um, but you don't need an appointment. You don't need any kind of insurance. They will walk you through everything. Um, oh, uh, there was a nurse practitioner that came in, took his blood pressure, took all that information. Um, there was one that I believe was a social worker. She came in, uh, asked him some basic stats, asked him uh, how long he identified as transgender, how long he'd been out, if he'd taken any steps so far in his transition, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so if you end up in that situation, be open, be honest with them. They're there to help you. So that's the Mazzoni Center. And then there's everywhere else in Pennsylvania at least this is everywhere else okay um there's a group called the Persad Center P-E-R-S-A-D and they're associated with the University of Pittsburgh so here's their information sorry um it's persadcenter.org right there and uh, the number, 1-888-873-7723. So check them out. Um, it looks like they have different branches. So if you're in Pittsburgh or the surrounding area, you're going to call, uh, call Joe Ellen Smith. And her number is 412-441-9786 six extension two 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 and uh they're on penn avenue in pittsburgh i don't know pittsburgh too well because i don't really care for pittsburgh that much but they're on penn avenue if that if anybody's in the area and they know uh and then there's erie pennsylvania if you're like way up in the corner all the way out west um you're gonna call will kohler it's k-o-e-h-l-e-r and he is a uh, 814-388-0195. So check out Persad. Um, my old roommate in college, her sister transitioned through them and had a great experience. They were very helpful. It looks, uh, by looking at their website, from what I could tell, it looks as though um, they don't do everything there, but they can refer you to people. So uh, they'll refer you to people, sorry, I wrote it all down, 
um, for hormones, surgery, legal help, everything. They would take care of through the Persad Center. Like I said, I believe they're associated with the University of Pittsburgh. So check them out. Um, nice campus there if you haven't been. You can definitely check it out. I'm sure they have an office there. Like I said, 5150 Penn Avenue, Pittsburgh. So those are the different resources that I, um, I know of that I found. Um, I've only had personal experiences myself with Mazzoni, so I can only vouch for that. Uh, I actually asked Chance if he knew of any, and he said, I know people that drive from Pittsburgh to go to Mazzoni Center. So, and that kind of vouches for them a little bit more. But um, if you don't have the resources, which clearly not everybody does, uh, check out Persad Center. Um, it doesn't look like Pennsylvania requires you to have a letter from a uh, from a therapist to start tea, which some states seem to make you do. You don't need a letter, from what I can tell. Um, Chance didn't need a letter, at least. He went in, talked to the uh, doctor. The only difference, um, he was taking tea before he went to this appointment, and the doctor switched him from intramuscular to sub-Q. That was the only change. And then, well, the doctor said, you know, let's switch to this, and you'll see what kind of a change it is. And he didn't like it, so he switched right back. I think I've talked about that before. He switched back after, like, a month or so. Um, but Chance walked out of that appointment with a uh, prescription for tea. And uh, they kept him stocked for a year, I think. We're going back on uh, beginning of August to get his levels checked he's been having some kind of hinky mood swings and he's it's been you know affecting him and us and so he decided he wants to kind of get that checked out because if his T levels are too low that could be causing a lot of issues so uh, I guess I'll report back on that after that happens uh, again at Mazzoni they're wonderful um, they actually do the blood work and you can see the results online uh, they'll work with you in any way that you need them to. So uh, Chance can't have anything on his paperwork that says anything about being transgender because of the military. So I think they put something about a hormone imbalance um, when they gave him the testosterone. So they put something about an endocrine hormone imbalance on the paperwork. So if the military looks at it, it's not gonna say, you know, is a transgender male needs hormones it's going to say something about his endocrine disorder that he needs extra testosterone. So they're pretty awesome with that. Uh, I think that's all I have to go on for this. Uh, like I said, I'll look for more information. I'll put a little update up here if I find anything else. I will put all the numbers and everything down below in case my notes didn't help you guys. I tried to have, you know, a little graph representation. Okay, um... I will see everybody next week, and we're talking about name changes, I think, or gender markers, so don't quote me. Alright, I'll see you guys then. Bye.